And the most wonderful time of the year, also one of the busiest times of the year for Bay Area airports. Our team coverage continues with Today in the Bay's Ginger Kanahara Saab. She's live at SFO. And Ginger, how are their lines looking so far? Well, there are a number of lines here at SFO, Cynthia. There's a line to check in, to drop off your bag. And of course, there's the TSA check-in line, uh, security check check through line or checkpoint uh, and it's clocking in at less than 10 minutes just nine minutes uh, of course that fluctuates and has been fluctuating all morning but whether it's you know taking these lines into account or possibly going through a bad experience from a past flight there are some passengers here this morning that are taking the extra effort to make sure they don't miss their flight like these exchange students who we spoke with they've spent their last semester here in the Bay Area and it's not just a countdown to Christmas for them it's also a countdown to being reunited with their families and they did not want to miss their flight this morning one student is here about three hours before her flight the other more than four hours now they are just two of the millions of passengers projected to pass through SFO and other airports during the year-end holiday travel rush yesterday an estimated 2.6 Seven million people were screened at TSA checkpoints nationwide, one of their busiest days of the year, including December 29th and also January 1st into the new year. Now you can expect to see long lines during the swells of departing flights here at SFO and also at SJC. It's not just happening here at San Francisco. Let's take a live look now at San Jose's Mineta Airport where you can see those long lines. The line to drop off your bag actually wraps around the carousel. And one passenger there wanted to make sure that he would ditch some of these long lines or at least make it to his flight. So he slept in his car. I got, a, I got an SUV and a mattress in the back. I came here 2 o'clock in the morning, parked here, woke up 5.30, come out here. Now I, I should have got up a little bit earlier now think about it. But I think it's going to be. Welcome to our world. Well, there are no scheduled ground delays for SFO, according to the FAA, unlike how we started the week here. But bad weather in Southern California may impact Bay Area flights once again. Nationwide yesterday, 3,000 flights were delayed. Bad weather in Southern California blamed for a lot of them with ground delays in Los Angeles. Dallas also uh, seeing some of those delays. Now, AAA's uh, year-end holiday travel projections, they start tomorrow. AAA's say that seven and a half million people will take to the skies from December 23rd through New Year's. Guys, um, I'm hoping to get on a flight next week. So I'm taking all these little tips, uh, what, what I see from passengers getting here ahead of time, making those parking reservations and uh, getting dropped off at arrivals and taking the escalator up to departures to, to save on some time. There you go. And then, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then add a few kids to the mix. It makes it all the much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad you're not jumping on the flight now. I thought Keep you were about to, say, about to exactly. check the flight now. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Ginger.